In Cybertruck news, over 10,000 people are needed for Giga Texas through 2022. Five minutes from the airport, 15 minutes from downtown, right on the Colorado River. All Tesla news for the first week of April, part two. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. The Verge is reporting Apple will use Tesla's Megapack batteries at its California solar farm. Oh, look at all these juicy collectors right here. That is a lot of power. And uh, there have been hints that maybe this would be more of a partnership, more of a omen of things to come. But really, I think it's just that Tesla's Megapack is better than the competition, and it just makes sense to use it. This could be, you know, a hundred million dollar project coming up in this year sometime, maybe even next quarter. Lithium battery costs have fallen by 98% in three decades. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, they started in the lab at outrageous prices, but yeah, let's even go back to 2000 when they were still at around $2,000 uh, per kilogram and they've fallen so much, and in part because of the efficiencies of scale. But yeah, batteries have come a long way. Now let's just hope that those savings go on to the consumers. Supercharge.info is now showing that in the US, there are 1,142 supercharger locations. And boy, even going back a year, that is pretty fantastic growth, going from 850 to 1150. I love it. In Cybertruck news, over 10,000 people are needed for Giga Texas through 2022. Five minutes from the airport, 15 minutes from downtown, right on the Colorado River. So Tesla is already actively recruiting for workers to build a Yo Cybertruck. And the rumor is Tesla is gearing up for earlier than expected Cybertruck production. There was a user who, I want to say it was Sawyer Merritt on Twitter, whose uh, neighbor uh, works on the Cybertruck pilot line, and he's been told that it is time to relocate to Texas as early as June or July, which would be, you know, fantastic news. The company is currently focused on building the pilot production line at the Fremont factory, which would then just be shipped over and rolled out. In Bitcoin news, which I hesitate to say because it always results in the comments being flooded with bots, BTC Pay Server uh, is releasing a new patch. Uh, apparently, the Tesla team uh, found a critical error which could unmask who the Bitcoins belong to, which is, you know, kind of a problem. And it's interesting because there have been hundreds of developers working on thousands of patches and improvements, and it was the Tesla team that caught it. But remember, Tesla has an in-house software team that is frankly second to none. All of their software is in-house made. That means the cars, sure, the supercharger network, sure, but like even their Excel spreadsheets, I believe, are made in-house. Their inventory tracking software is made in-house. So I guess it's no surprise that they caught this. Biden wants to build a national EV charging system under $2 trillion infrastructure plan, but it won't be easy. Covered this a little bit before, but there's a lot to it. It's, uh, there, there could be new EV credits coming out for purchases. There could be, um, there will be more uh, charging locations, which is kind of a secondary concern, but it is meant to spur the development and adoption of electric vehicles that includes money to retool factories and boost domestic supply of materials, tax incentive for EV buyers, and grant incentive programs for charging infrastructure. Looking at competition, and boy, I tell you, it's just unfortunate. Waymo, who for years has said they are on the very cusp of relieving of releasing full self-driving, has lost their CEO. Dear Waymo Knots, bleh, sorry, threw up in my mouth a bit. After five and a half exhilarating years leading the team, I've decided to depart from my role as CEO with Waymo. And he's not even going somewhere particular. He just wants to hang out with friends and stuff. This tells me they are not within six months of releasing a product because the CEO does not step down six months before a world-changing product is unveiled, is before a world-changing product product is released to the market. You want to be standing on that stage when it happens. This tells me 
Waymo's got more setbacks than we're aware of. Sawyer Merritt has suggested on Twitter, Tesla and Toyota are considering jointly developing a small electric SUV platform, the car's basic skeleton. This partnership review has been conducted since last year. So that would be interesting. I don't know how true this is, but I think it would be great. I think Toyota is sufficiently far behind that they could benefit from licensing Tesla's tech. And I think Tesla could benefit from, you know, getting paid for that. U.S. Ford sold 6,614 Mach-E's in the quarter. I am sorry, but that is disappointing. That is dreadfully, miserably disappointing. 700 cars a week-ish? That's not good, guys. March was lower than February. Moreover, nearly 70% of buyers are from competitive brands, and that always makes a manufacturer happy. What you'll notice they're not saying is that it's from Tesla. Tesla buyers, I just cannot see them buying a Mach-E. And last thing, I don't have any connection with this company, but the Stonk Light. This connects wirelessly to the network, and uh, it goes green as Tesla goes up through the day and red as it goes down through the day. So that's a great way to improve your mood or destroy it. I don't know. It just seems kind of interesting. They're not a sponsor. Uh, maybe they should be. I would like them to be a sponsor. I would like them to allow me to give one of these to my to my amazing fans, but, uh, you know, in any case, maybe it's something you want to just buy. It's uh, stonklights.com. So if you subscribed or left a comment in March, you were automatically entered to win a prize. So let's get to that giveaway. So we're going to start with heads means subscribers and tails means comments. Let's do that. Flip a coin. Okay, tails. So it's going to be a comment. Uh, there were 18 article. Uh, there, there were <clears throat> there were 18 videos last month. Pick. Um, let's say roll an 18-sided die. Ah, just roll it. 17. Okay, so that would be the second to most recent one that would be this guy and now let's pick a comment let's see who the winner is who gets some merch continue pick a winner haha <laughs> well congratulations hell talk with the comment of heart emoji, you have won some merch. Uh, let's see what I said about that. So use the about page to get in touch with me and then I'll have you verify it's you and your prize will be on the way. A reminder, Patreons are also entered to win a prize. So to see that giveaway, head on over to patreon.com slash glossy news and a big shout out to my latest Patreons, Tibor Palatka at the very cool level and Excel Robot at the cool in the gang level. If you want to win some sweet, sweet merch, subscribe, leave a comment. It's just a that easy. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me an ear bucket in the comments and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots in a world where hopefully masks are optional.